I think it would be pretty exciting for us, you know, just, you know, coming out there, just really understanding that it's my last home game in the Carter. Just uh, collectively, I just feel like, like as a unit, it hasn't really hit us yet, you know, but at the same time, it's like, I do lay down and I think about it every night. So, <laughs> so I'm not sure, man. You know, I guess I just have to go out there and, you know, see when I get out there what it feels like. I'm There's excited, only, though. I'm excited. There's only a few guys listed as a, a fifth-year starter right. on this team when yes. it comes to this class. I mean, how special is that for you and knowing that you, know, you started from day one once you got here? Right. I mean, you know, it's just it's just another thing I could put on my resume. You know, that's it. I mean, it really doesn't. Either way it goes, you know, I think I'm more proud of the fact that, you know, I was able to come to this university my freshman year and be able to, you know, contribute all five years. So, you know, I think that's what I'm most proud of. How strong of a bond is there with this class considering, you know, the 2019 season, COVID, and even some ups and downs yeah. this season? Yeah, we're we're brothers, you know. we're. I mean, this I haven't been part of a team that's bonded as strong as we have, especially, you know, through the adversity we went through with the four and eight season, you know, we got the COVID came around and, you know, we've all been just right here with each other this whole time. So, you know, just building that relationship through the shared adversity, adversity you know, I feel like we've just created a, a really strong bond. And Grant was even team. saying yesterday that because of that, it really helps you in situations where you can bounce back when things get tough, say right. against Wake Forest or, or, right. or in any situation or Florida State or whatever. How much does that help to, to you know, you've been through the wars together? Right. I just feel like it's, you know, just through all that shared adversity, I feel like it's been a part of our DNA now, you know, just, you know, doing what we need to in order to get back to where we're supposed to be. You know, I feel like we've built a lot of resilience through, you know, just all the hardships we've been through since we've been here. Obviously, you came here, you started initially as a nickel, you exactly. moved to safety. I mean, how much have you gone through as far as your, your personal growth on and off the field here? Oh, man, it's something, you know, I've gone through a lot, honestly. It's a it's something different every year, you know what I'm saying? So you, you, still, you still try to get used to it, you still try to go with the flow at times, you know, and I just, you know, as far as me, I just, as personal growth, I feel like I've grown a lot as a person, I've grown a lot as a player, and, you know, I'm just, you know, it's kind of bittersweet seeing that it's coming to an end. What sort of uh, challenges does Boston College offense present? Uh, they got a lot of pretty skilled guys, you know, uh, Xavier Flowers, he's a he's a threat that we're going to have to watch out for. You know, they do a good job uh, making sure, like, getting your eyes going places where they're not supposed to. So we got to make sure we have good eye discipline and, you know, just play the ball well downfield. Coach Doran has talked to us a lot about setting that record with the, the home winning streak, making 17. I assume he talks about that with you all, too, to set that yes, record. How much would that mean to, to set a school record for home wins in a row in your last home game? You know, I mean, I think it, it'll mean more than anything, you know, just to, you know, actually be able to be a part of a team that's, you know, actually created a legacy here. So, you know, I feel like it's just I'm excited, you know, <laughs> to be able to be a part of that.